Don't come near me. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new adventure. Today we're coming to you from a familiar spot. As I pan around, you may recognize these. That is the 380 Bridges. We've been down here before to cross the abandoned trestle. We did videos on the abandoned town of Greenville. But today we're focusing on something rather unique. It's a train bridge back there that none of us have ever crossed because in our eyes, it felt it was not safe enough. But believe it or not, it's actually being brought back from the dead and having a new life. And as we walk towards it, I'll share some of the information about it and then we'll check it out. And believe it or not, we're actually gonna cross it today. So come along with me and RJ78 Productions as we give you an update on this really cool train bridge. Okay, so as we make our way towards the train bridge, we're gonna notice a few things. This area has been under construction for about the last month or so now. The reason why is because these bridges, which I believe were built, excuse me, in the 1960s, are gonna be replaced. They're not gonna put a new decking on it. As far as I understand, they're gonna replace the entire bridge, the entire structure of it is gonna be replaced. That's what was reported in the news. So it's gonna be a huge undertaking. It's a multi-year project. But in order for them to get on both sides of the bridge, they ended up utilizing the former train bridge, which is off in the distance. Now, as we've seen that bridge many, many times, it's not really, it wasn't passable for equipment, ATVs, and I didn't feel safe crossing it, but they did redeck it, and they've actually are using it on a daily basis for both heavy equipment crossing and delivery of products. I actually was crossing these bridges just the other day, looked down and saw a tractor trailer on that bridge, something I never thought I would ever see. Now, the further plans is that once the bridge project is complete, they're supposed to leave that bridge redecked and turn it into a rail trail. It's supposed to start somewhere along Route 435 and go this direction behind me towards the abandoned train trestle. I don't know how far, but that is a project that's going to be taking place in a few years after the completion of the bridges. So we want to come down here today though because a lot of my viewers have reached out to me and said, hey, I'm not sure if you realize it, but they redecked the bridge. And I've seen uh, update videos on it. And I wanted to share it personally with you guys because it's a, it's a special place for me, you know, being down here so many times and having not been able to cross it. Oh, geez, they took down the pump house. Oh, no. All right, just saw some kind of devastating news here. Not too happy about. Let me spin you around and show you what we're talking about. So right here, you can see the foundations. That was the pump house. It was used to fill the locomotives. Myself and Cliff have been through there and have documented it. Thankfully we documented it because it's no longer here. I will actually uh, throw in some older footage to show you what it used to look like briefly. And if you want to see the video of it, you'll find it down below in the description. But that is unfortunate. You can see there's a stone retaining wall behind it. And it looks like it was a, a decently sized structure at one point. Nineteen oh nine this was built. So just like any town, buildings are built throughout its lifespan. Some buildings newer, some older. So I'm sure there was a need for this that they constructed it. But look at that wall up there, that's cracked all the way through. That's probably gonna come down. one large room in this building or possibly had a second floor but my guess is this is one large room that housed the equipment and stuff but there's another part to it where foot is squeezing through so we'll try and get over there I took a picture of this it's a pretty nice shot here with the bridge in the background
other thing I want to mention too is we came down here on a Sunday when there's no work being performed. We wouldn't want to come down and interfere any other time. So we decided to come on a Sunday. It's late afternoon, early evening. So there's no work being performed down here. No crewmen or anything like that. So we are going to respectfully just document it and just show you what has been altered down here. I mean, already you can see it's completely wiped out. I'm not really too happy about that. I was hoping they were going to just save it because it was a part of the Greenville town for the Nayok station for filling the locomotives, but at least we know on the other side there's more items over there which hopefully they do not get to, but time will tell. Yeah, like a parade. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize that you could drive all the way back here. We just had three vehicles pass us and it looks like they're just coming down to check out themselves. And the area they were walking towards was the former rail yard. It was already a big open cleared area. And you can see they did some different work here with the land and put down all this stone, which is not the easiest to walk on. But uh, once we get closer to the bridge, we'll pick up from there. <laughs> Pink or white will do. Yeah. Oh, how you doing? Checking out the bridge? Yeah. Yeah. So it turns out that person right there is one of my viewers. He uh, recognized me. He's like, JP? I'm like, yep. I'm like, yeah, one of your viewers. QT? Say who? <laughs> is it QT? We don't know. But he just came down in here himself to check out the bridge. And we are at it now. But I do want to show you what is pretty incredible to see is the pile of old railroad ties that used to be on that bridge to support the tracks and that was making it nearly impossible to cross so we'll give you a look at that then we'll go across and uh show you how it looks today yeah so this is the remnants what's left of the railroad ties that went across the bridge some of them are in better shape than others but you can definitely see the rot and you know just the wear and tear of them after so many years. Definitely not able to, ho to uh, hold a lot of weight. So they had no choice but to redeck it. But that's going to lead us to right here. Now again, this area was documented. We did document it in our trip to Greenville here, myself and Cliff. So if you want to see the whole area as to how it used to look when we first discovered it just check out that video that i mentioned down below it will be titled greenville but i will be making future videos down here because there's old rail lines part of the wyoming branch that go through the valley here and follow route 435 so i'm going to be making a video on that in the future so here we are Incredible how it's transformed. And of course, looks like someone's not happy. Now these are here just, they put them here at the end of the day so that no vehicles go across it, but it is able to sustain tractor trailers, heavy equipment. And we're going to walk across it. It'll be my first time ever, so I'm pretty excited. Obviously, it's not going to be a sketchy, scary experience, but we will be able to finally get across it. So this is monumental guys, this is our first time walking across, I'm gonna do it in one trip here. 
keep it rolling with you and give you different views and share my thoughts because it's very seldom that something like this happens where a abandoned structure comes back to life. Nice view too. You got overlooking the rails here. I do know it's windy. I do apologize. And they still do have some older planks just used as uh, fillers. So this area is going to be, like I said, under construction for a number of years. If I am incorrect on the work being done on the bridges, I do apologize. I'm only going by what was told on the news, but it was shared that they're going to replace the entire bridges. But it very well could just be getting redecked. I honestly don't know. I'm only sharing what I heard. But again, if you happen to know otherwise, you're welcome to share with us. Now, the unique thing about this bridge, if you haven't already noticed, it goes from a truss bridge to an open trestle right here. So it's a combination of two different types of structures as one structure. It's not too common that you see that. Well, they've actually really reworked this area. Looking downwards, they actually did a lot of work down there too. They cut a lot of trees, leveled the ground. So it's uh, been really reconfigured significantly. But we are walking over Roaring Brook. This is probably the highest point here. I will give you guys a look. Even though I know it's redecked, I don't like stand by the edge. I still get my nerves that I always have for these type of locations. And you can see the tractor trailers just rushing by. That is Interstate 380. I'll take you all the way to Interstate 80. And if you veer off to the left a little bit further up, I'll take you to 84, which will take you to New York. So it is a major highway. And again, this highway is what was basically the demise of Greenville. This, if you could imagine, you know, lots of railroad tracks, buildings, structures, the whole town down here. And it got wiped away from the construction of this, which was needed. Highways are needed, but you would hope that they could somehow preserve it, but not the case. Now, last time we were here, there was a bunch of us. We went looking for the abandoned rail car a few months ago, and we came standing at the edge of the bridge looking this way. It was myself, Cliff, Mike, RJ, uh, Matt, I think Alan. There was a, a bunch of us, and that was the last time we were down here. This is one that we will not be crossing. It is too far gone. And when we were here, we were getting some side view shots from right there. But you can see down there, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. You can see all the cut trees. It's been kind of cleared out. So 
So when we went looking for that abandoned train car, we followed it this way. This is the old Erie line, and there is rails up ahead. But it looks like they did do some work up into that area and made a road going down to the bottom to get probably underneath the trestle. Kind of surreal, I have to say. Now, like I said, best hopeful thing is that they do utilize this as a rail trail. I think it'd be an excellent idea. It's a section of property that is not often used except for explorers or ATVers. And up until now, that bridge was just sitting there, you know, getting in worse shape. Obviously, the metal structure itself is not going anywhere, but the ties were not in the best of shape. There's a lot of gaps. And I do know people have crossed it. You know, they feel comfortable enough to do it. That's fine. I personally do have a fear of heights and I don't like putting myself in situations where I'm able to see right down to the bottom. But I do push myself as much as I can. If people are able to do it, you know, then good for you. If you can't, if you're like myself, you have, you know, issues with it, then you understand what I'm talking about. But everyone has strengths and weaknesses. One of mine is going underground in the caves. Some people are good with heights and climbing and exploring, but regardless of it, I am glad to see though that it is being saved. It's being brought back from the dead. It has a new life. Even though it's being used for construction right now, it's good to know that the proposed plans are to use it as a rail trail. If that ever does happen down the road, however many years away it is, I definitely will indeed document it for you guys and show you how it's transformed from when we first discovered it as an abandoned town and rail yard to a construction site than to a public walking trail so the future is hopeful we'll just have to see what happens between now and then i always love this shot underneath the bridges with the contrast of the sky the clouds it's almost unbeatable i'm going to go down near the edge here and show you what's been done down below then we're going to go back across and probably wrap things up Oh, snake. You see him? His head's sticking out. Snakes. Why'd it have to be snakes? Yeah, wait to see what we're doing. Don't come near me. So there's the side portion view and that viewer of mine's walking across again. This is the same shot we got though when we were here when we didn't cross it. So, aside from the fencing, it looks the same. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna show you the wide shot first. You see that big metal pipe we've seen that before crossed it before and down there is where they're doing lots of work i'm going to zoom in now and show you that's all cleared out they've had a dozer excavator come all the way down here you can see the tracks and the cut trees you guys see that does that look familiar to you? Well, if you watch my abandoned Neville Resort videos, we've seen plenty of those, especially inside the tower. And typically those are used for drilling for demolition. So, unless you uh, could tell me otherwise, I think that's what it's for. Got another one right there. There's a really good side shot from here. So let me know your thoughts. Do you think it's a good thing that they are utilizing this bridge for construction use? 
with the potential idea of making it into a rail trail? Or do you think it should have been left the way it was? I personally think it's a good idea. It's getting some purpose out of it. it has a new life, kind of being brought back from the dead. Even though we'll probably never see trains again, it is still a piece of history that is not being demolished or deconstructed or replaced. It's still being used. So in my eyes, I think it's a good thing. I give it a thumbs up. Well, let me know your thoughts as well. Say hello, be polite. Here's looking off the other side. There's like a concrete thing down there. It looks like a cave down there too. Yeah, there's something there in the water, that's man-made. All right guys, so what can I say? I am thrilled to be able to give you this update and to know that this bridge does have a new life. Make sure you share your thoughts down below, good or bad, I wanna hear what you guys think. I think in my eyes it's a good thing. They are not deconstructing it. They're utilizing it for a good purpose to cross the river for the bridge purposes of the construction. And let's hope, fingers crossed, that they do turn into a rail trail down the road. If they like I said, if they ever do that, I will be here and document it for you guys. But in the meantime, if you want to see more adventures, make sure you check my playlist. I'm going to be following the Wyoming branch of the Erie Line along 435 in a future video because that is proposed to get reconstructed too for the rail trail plan. So before that happens, I want to document that. So before, I should say, um, make sure you be on the lookout for that so you can catch that video and see the transformation before and after. There's no rails there anymore, but we'll still be able to follow the rail line. And it's a place that doesn't get often documented in videos. I do want to thank RJ for coming out today. And if you get if you want to see his video, check the description down below. And lastly, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this adventure, please give it a big thumbs up. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. So just some quick bonus footage here. We're looking at the pump house that we saw at the start of our video. We happened to be walking by it, and I remember. When I was here last time, we couldn't really explore it all that well because it was snow covered and we couldn't see exactly where we were going, but there is indeed a basement to it. I remember I told Cliff about it and it's not big, but there is a lower level. I never knew this was here, but I remember I walked through the wall there, ripped my sweatshirt. And there was a uh, piping coming out of the walls that you could see over there, but it is obliterated. But I always wonder what was down here, so at least we could see now. And it's just rubble here, it's just bricks and rubble. All right, there, 1909 pump house for steam locomotives. It is sad they tore it down. I understand the reason, you know, to get the equipment down here and everything, but I just didn't think it was going to be kind of like this. There's piping here. There's a foundation wall there. And just tons of bricks. QT?